Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video I would like to explain to you the difference between a choice type column and a managed metadata column. Uh, now, I get this question quite a bit from my loyal blog followers uh, who are wondering which one is most appropriate when you create metadata columns uh, in a document library. So that's exactly what I'm going to, uh, that's exactly the question I'm going to answer in today's uh, video. Uh, as you probably know, I'm a huge advocate of uh, metadata. Uh, uh, however, uh, we have these two distinct choices uh, to choose from when you create it. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to answer for you today. Um, let me explain to you what I'm talking about here. So uh, I have a document library. Uh, let's say we want to store some company invoices. When I go ahead and create a column, I have, uh, and of course, these are different types of um, you know, columns you can create. Uh, but let's say for the scenario where you want to create a dropdown choice uh, of, I don't know, company names or maybe uh, document types uh, or any other type of dropdown choice, uh, you have two major options to choose from. We have this choice field over here and we have uh, another choice uh, called manage metadata. It's actually hidden under more section over here. Uh, I'm going to create both and show you um, kind of the, um, you know, uh, both examples, and then we'll talk about the major differences between the two. So let me do the easiest one. This is this choice uh, type column, which literally is just a drop down, right? So um, I'm going to, let's say we st obviously store invoices, so I want to organize my invoices by uh, client name. So um, I'm, I'm going to uh, just uh, call this um, uh, column called client and this is where we specify the choices right for our drop-down choices one line um, you know one company uh, per line I guess in our case one choice per line so I'm going to uh, type in a few uh, client names okay and uh, that's fine. And we can, of course, uh, do additional settings. Uh, we, we, we really don't care about those uh, during this video, uh, but you can set up defaults and all that. We're not going to, to worry about it here. Here we go. I just created uh, my client column over here. All right. However, there is also another way to create uh, a client column, uh, and uh, that is by using uh, something called Manage Metadata. Before we go there, uh, I want to explain kind of the limitation of this option over here. All right, uh, I just created uh, I just created this column. It was nice and easy. It only took us a few seconds. But the problem is the problem is that I defined this column at the library level. Say for example, I have the same client list, and I want to I have another library on the same site or maybe some other site. Well, and I want to maybe utilize the same drop down list of my clients. Well, you know what? Uh, because it's defined locally at the library level, we're going to be out of luck here. So that will that means that you will pretty much need to manually replicate uh, the same column on any other site on any other library. All right, uh, and that's of course is a big big limitation. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of metadata, right? Uh, because with metadata you're trying to standardize on um, you know on the naming convention and the the you know the one common list. Um, so that's a big limitation of this choice column. Um, with that being said, we have another option, um, and uh, that's uh, something called managed metadata. Let me create another column uh, through managed metadata option. So uh, it's hidden under more. So let me click on more. And what you see right now is kind of a, a classic screen, right? Uh, you know, previously you saw the modern interface, but this is more of a classic, um, you know, look and feel. This is how we used to create columns in the old days, uh, before modern, uh, you know, all the changes we now have in modern share with modern SharePoint. Uh, but you know, for the most part, it's right. It's pretty much the same kind of uh, the same choices that you saw on the previous screen. Um, you know, same everything, just a little bit different look and feel. However, because we're in this different mode, we also have this additional option that we didn't have before, managed metadata. What this option is all about is that, let me click on this radio button over here, and a screen refreshes, and what this option allows us to do, it allows us to go against the metadata that is defined in the term store. So I have already defined my meta metadata in the term store, so if I scroll down, 
a little bit. This is where you map. This is where you map your column name. Let me actually give it a name, client name. And you know what? I'm going to uh, actually give a distinctive name, right? Because I, if I, you know, if I um, if I keep the same name as for the other column, um, it will not allow me to do that. So here we go. Um, I just created a column name, um, uh, you know, uh, dash ts, meaning that uh, the metadata is defined in the term store. But this is where you map a little bit below. This is where you map this column name to the drop down choices you already have defined in the term store. This is my term store uh, that and I already set it up, of course, previously. But this is where this is where all my metadata resides. And I'm going to map uh, this is, um, you know, I'm going to map my uh, client name um, column to this particular term set within the term store. All right. And I just did that again, just like with the other options, we can, we have this additional options, we can require column, we can allow multiple selections, all that we're not going to, uh, to worry about this, um, you know, in this video. So here we go, I click OK. And now I will have another column on my library. Here we go. Two columns. This was defined through the choice um, type column, and this was defined through the term store. So, what is the difference now between what is the major advantage of the term store, um, you know, compared to this choice uh, type column? There are actually many, many advantages, and I listed some of them uh, on my blog. So, feel free to check it out. But the major and the major advantage here of this column is that right we went against the term store term store you know think of term store as one big you know box of labels uh, that you have for your organizations for your organization it's global all right uh, that's the major difference you, um, you you define it once in a single database if you will and then just like I did on this particular library you can uh, go ahead and uh, and pretty much map against this uh, this single uh, source of truth, if you will, single uh, source of labels. So the idea is behind the term store is that you define your metadata globally there once, you know, your document types, department names, your uh, client names, or whatever it is. And then from any other site, any other library, you can go against the same, um, the same source. And uh, this way, uh, you will have one uniform list across uh, the board. So let me uh, let me uh, upload a few uh, a few files just so that we have something. Let's pretend all of this uh, uh, invoices. So I'm going to upload a bunch of files and uh, let's just tag them. Um, here we go. And by the way, of course, I can move things around, right? Um, you know, just to make it a little bit nicer. So here we go. I just move the columns every time you, by the way, you, you move the columns, make sure to uh, resave the view, right? Otherwise, uh, your, your changes will be lost. And here we go. Now I can go ahead and tag my document. And over here, these are the columns. These are the columns that we uh, have created. So here is my choice column. Here is my, uh, here is my um, um, uh, term stock column. So for the any time you have the uh, choice column, you pretty much have a drop down, just like you see here. All right, and every time you have the data defined within the term store, uh, you you get kind of a little bit different look and feel. You have this little bit, uh, you know, this icon for a label for a tag. You can click on it. And as you can see, remember, this was the uh, data set that I defined in the term store. I can just go ahead and, uh, you know, tag it from here as well. All right. Again, you know, pretty much from user standpoint, from um, as far as user experience, right, whoever is tagging the information, I mean, it's pretty much the same, uh, almost identical. There are actually many more advantages to the term store. I'm not going to go um, to go um, and describe them in this particular video, uh, but uh, but the major advantage again that I, you know this this uh, column right here or the term set I should uh, probably be a little bit more clear the 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 term set the set of labels uh, is global meaning that uh, it's defined in one central location and uh, any uh, any site and any library can benefit from it all right so hopefully this clarifies the question uh, on on whether you should use the uh, the choice type column or the 
uh, or the term Stockholm, the managed metadata. Uh, that's just a different name for it. Uh, and I mean, yeah, pretty much for the for the you, you can obviously uh, keep using the choice column for um, for anything that um, that is kind of local to the specific uh, library or list, right? If you have a list of um, you know departments, list of clients, and and document types or vendors, you know something that you think you will use and reuse, obviously, um, you know you know utilize the term store and store your metadata there. Uh, and use managed metadata. But if you are creating, I don't know, maybe like a status column, right? Active and active or something like that. Something that, um, you know, is probably local, something that no one will ever benefit from. Definitely, um, you know, you don't need to go to the term store for that. You can just define it locally uh, at the library level by, by using the, the choice column, All right? Again, hopefully this clarifies um, the, 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 you know, hopefully answer the, the, the question that I, I get quite often uh, from my loyal blog followers. And hopefully you learn something new in this video. And as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.